Welcome to One Minute Washboard Abs. It's a 21 day program, it's a challenge to really work out your entire core. So at the end of it, you're gonna have washboard abs, totally toned up, maybe even a six pack. And it's gonna be a series of working three weeks in a row. You're gonna do six days on and one day off. So you, in total, 18 days of workout and three days of rest. It's gonna give you lots of hints and tips all the way through, working on your technique. It's gonna be progressive so that you can choose the level that really works for you. You can scale it up and make it really hardcore or you can bring it right down back to basics. It's gonna be a lot of fun and we're all in it together. This is week one, let's get into it. Have your feet about shoulder width apart and you're using your abs to bring your head up closer towards your knees. There's no tension through your neck, you're just guiding your head upwards to activate through your abs. In this next set, see if you can work a little bit deeper into those muscles. Remember to return all the way back down to the mat again. You're halfway there. Well done, keep going. Just a few seconds left. Make sure to return all the way back down again between repetitions. coming upwards, you're bringing your elbow on a diagonal and you're turning all the way down to the mat and repeating on the other side. Just a few more. Good. Enjoy lengthening out through your abs. Take deep breaths in. Raise your belly with the breath before returning into position. Well done, keep going. Focus on your breath. Remember to take deep, full breaths and really use the breath to help you to complete the exercise. Well done. In this one, you're alternating your elbow to your knee with this nice twisting action. You're working through your external obliques as well as your abs. Some people find this one a little bit easier because you're using more of the muscles. Enjoy lengthening out and get ready for the second set. Remembering to return all the way down towards the mat. 
keeping the breath strong. You might already be beginning to feel the effects from days one and two. You might be feeling a little bit stronger through your abs already. Let us know in the comments how you feel. Combining crunches and cross crunches makes a double whammy. It's a really powerful exercise. And it can be a really enjoyable one as well. Remember to focus on your breath. And keep your form nice and strong. Lengthen out, enjoy your rest phase. Let's see if we can really make this set count. Nice full repetitions, well done. Keep going, keep going. You got it. Keeping your hips level with the floor, keep one leg straight and one arm straight. Keep alignment through the spine, Keep alignment through the arms and legs. And focusing on that alignment, you'll feel your whole core being activated. And here, sinking down deep into rest phase, you can bring the hips down towards the mat. You can either take the knees wide or leave them closer in underneath your chest. returning to the second phase keeping that strong alignment forming a straight line through the spine all the way down through one leg and out through your arm before returning to that tabletop position to repeat on the other side just a few more here Lie flat on your back, hands down by your sides. Curl your knees up to your head and bring your thighs up to your chest. You can either keep your hips on the ground or for a deeper level of contraction, you can lift your hips off of the ground. Try to relax through your neck and remember to breathe. Our muscles are fueled by the breath. So the more you breathe, the more you'll be able to produce the exercise. I find myself working my way down the mat here. <laughs> Maybe you will too. Well done, everybody. It's rest day. If you've liked this video, 
like the video. Remember to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know how you're getting on with the challenge and what you're looking forward to in week two. And thanks for watching.